Hi YouTube. Before Christmas, uh, Mac brought out Shade Scents. Now these were to go with the, I believe they're iconic lipsticks of theirs. Um, one of them being Velvet Teddy. So I bought the Velvet Teddy Shade Scent. I bought the Velvet Teddy lipstick because I hadn't been able to get it last year. Anyway, this is a lipstick, and I'm wearing it. Very pretty, very um, warm honey, kind of caramel colouring, very nice. So, the perfume, which is supposed to be the same colour as the lipstick in each case, so with Candy Yum Yum it's a really pretty candy pink, the liquid is the same colour, and that's really nice coloured liquid. So, in principle, it's a great idea. This is 50 mils atomizer. It was £35. That's not what I was going to say. What was I going to say? It's Eau de Parfum, so it's strong. I mean, I sprayed this when I got it, and the next day it was still on my skin. That's 24 hours later, and the smell was still very, very strong. I mean, that's how long it lasts. So that's it. A nice square shape to it, and a quite they're called shade scents. Quite sort of ingenious idea, really, in theory. <laughs> so I'll tell you the, the notes in it, the accords. The, the shade scent is supposed to embody, the shade scent is supposed to embody what the perfume represents. So, if you know what I mean, <laughs> that's what it's supposed to do. Okay, so Velvet Teddy is supposed to represent mainly, the main thing you will get from it is wild honey. Not my favourite, but um, I thought it sounded nice. I thought I'd have a go blind. I mean, I didn't, hadn't smelled it or anything, but I'd gone onto the Mac website to buy a few bits, and then I saw this, and it had just come out, and I thought, oh, that's pretty exciting. Then I saw the Velvet Teddy lipstick, which I couldn't get, and I thought, great, I'm going to go for the lipstick, and I thought, do you know what, I'm going to go for the, the matching perfume, see what it's like. First time I've ever bought without smelling a perfume. There's a very good website called fra fragrantica.com perfume. Really good comments. Now the first comment on that, she says she immediately recognised Mac trying to bring out their own version of a unisex tobacco vanilla. So that's the strong smell I was getting from it. It's like a tobacco leaf. The opening is identical, albeit slightly less woody and with a little less depth. So she said that. And then somebody else has said... They said it was very similar to Alchemia's Meal de Sauvage, a tobac. I don't know that one. Because the um, tobacco vanilla, that's Tom Ford, isn't it? It starts with a serious honey and tobacco note, warmly mixing in a perfect way. Um, and a sweet Tabasco fragrance. Right, this is a good, good description, this one. Dirty honey, honey, honey and more honey. The overpowering, very spicy smoke cured tobacco. After a couple of hours the tobacco is all but gone and you're left with a soft, slightly powdery honey musk and tonka bean. So I think that's all pretty good description of it. And that's all from fragrantica.com perfume. Velvet Teddy. Fragrances are, right, you've got Ruby Woo, which is a woody floral. You've got Candy Yum Yum, which is fruity floral gourmand. A lot of people liked this one. And My Heroine Woody Leather. That's the purple liquid. They're beautiful bottles, beautiful colours. Creme de Nude. And that is Amber Musk. And that's been a favourite with a lot of people. The comments on the Mac website were really bad. One woman likened this to a dead corpse dragged from a pond or something. I mean, really bad, bad, bad comments. And I think this scored 2.8 out of 5, which I think was generous. So what did I think of it? Well, first smelling of the fragrance, I thought, oh, that isn't me at all. And I think now I've read what the notes are, which is tobacco. That's possibly why. I mean, it's definitely an acquired taste or an acquired scent. It's not me at all. I like... I like linen smells, fresh green, vetiver, I think the 
notice they put in those perfumes or lemon I like really fresh and light and pretty smells I don't like this at all this is not me and it's not a lot of people who've left reviews either don't like it at all but somebody's gonna love it so for me it's a definite no I, I would say one out of five for me but that's because it's not my style and it's not something well it's not a sort of smell I like so I'm not going to slow it and say it's disgusting although it does smell like that to me because it's not my taste okay so that's MAC Velvet Teddy Perfume 